Well, it's that time of year when the new uh, bamboo uh, culms, C-U-L-M-S, are coming up. And I just wanted to give you all a look at the bizarre, almost alien look at the way these things appear as they are growing. They start out pretty, uh, pretty innocuous looking, like that. And then they grow. And these are, uh, these guys, are pretty good girth. I'm 6'4 with pretty huge hands and I cannot get my hand all the way around the circumference of these guys. So this is a healthy set of uh, new bamboo coming in. I walked through my whole bed and I'm looking at um, 46 calms coming up so far. And that one right down there, that's new since yesterday. These guys grow incredibly fast. This mm -hmm. green shaft right here, this new bamboo, it went from three inches tall to all the way up in the canopy in less than two weeks. I've got another video up. If you all are interested, I'll put a link in it at the end of this video, a link to it. Bamboo, when it's first coming in, in my backyard grows at the amazing rate of 0 0.43 I believe I remember it right 0.43 inches per hour yeah um, this stuff grows almost a half inch an hour it is Truly amazing plant. Now here we have brand new little calm coming up. And a whole lot of brothers and sisters coming up. You know, when I was in school studying botany, they said the one thing you don't want to have in nature that's prone to being wiped out is a monoculture. Well, you know what? Bamboo has been around for multiple millennia. And I've never heard of a huge die off ever. If anybody out there knows of that happening, and a whole stand of bamboo dying out. It just doesn't happen. These guys have conquered the monoculture doom and curse. Let's just amble through this area. Nope, I'm not fitting through that. I'm going to have to make my way around here. Okay. Just, just truly impressive. These things are massive. That comb right there, that's only a few days old. I'm not kidding you. Only a few days. I'm gonna have to make my way back down. We'll have a last look 
at my bamboo stand. Some of you might think, why does this guy have bamboo in his backyard? Doesn't he know it spreads and the rhizomes run everywhere? Yeah, I know about all that. And everywhere you see rocks, behind these rocks, I have what's called a bamboo barrier. I had my yard terraformed when I first moved in. This whole hill went like this at an angle all the way down like this. And when you walked around on the ground here, there were rhizomes everywhere heading towards the house. So all those were removed. All this soil was dug out with a bobcat. And all these stones were indigenous to this area. So the landscaper just piled them up in front of the bamboo barrier. And this is what it looks like right there. Now that high density polyurethane, I can't think of the name of it right now. It's HDPE or something like that. It keeps the rhizomes from moving out. They just hit that and they go elsewhere. And it works just fine. Well, that's it for my uh, discussion of here they come again every year. And mm -hmm. these above ground structures feed the below ground rhizomes that you can't see. All these bamboo leaves, which are shed every spring, and the new ones come in and last all through the winter into the next spring, they are feeding the root system. All right, well, that's it for now. I have several videos up talking about bamboo control and bamboo properties and uh, I'll put links inside uh, the description notes for the video as well as uh, links you can click on at the end of the video thanks for watching